Okay, so on this lesson, we're going to be looking at two by two systems. So the first um, key concept here, it says blank is a method for solving systems of linear equations that involves solving one equation for a specific variable and substituting the new expression into the other. So this is called substitution. Notice it says a two by two system of linear equations has two variables and two equations. So that's what a system, a two by two system is. The solution to a two variable system of equations may be represented by an ordered pair. So it's the point that they have in common. All right, so to solve a two by two system of linear equations using substitution, you're gonna isolate a variable in one equation. Now, I would recommend isolating a single variable, so that way you don't have any to deal with any fractions. Then you'll substitute into the other equation, simplify and solve, and then you'll have to find the other variable that's missing. So, first step is to isolate a variable, and I remember I said if, you, if possible, we want to isolate a single variable. So a single variable is just a variable with no coefficient. So notice this is a single variable here because the other one has a 2, a 3, and then a 4. So I'm going to isolate it. So I'm going to add 4y to both sides. So that would be 4y plus 9. So I isolated my single variable. Okay, so now we're going to substitute this into our other equation. So we're gonna use the other equation that we did not use. So I'm gonna write that down. And now I know x equals four y plus nine. So I'm gonna have a two. Instead of x, I'm putting, I'm gonna substitute it in, four y plus nine and then bring everything else down, minus 3y equals 13. So I need to substitute in, and then now I'm gonna simplify and solve. So I'm gonna need to distribute, that's gonna be 8y plus 18, and then minus 3y equals 13. Now notice that you have y's on the same side, so you're combining them. 8y minus 3y is 5y plus 18 equals 13. So now we have a linear equation that we're solving. We just have one y. We need to isolate it, so subtract 18. And then when you divide by 5, you get y equals negative 1. Okay, so once we find y, we're going to substitute it in. Now, I like to always use this equation that we solve for the single variable on because it's less work we have to do. So I'm going to substitute that in. So notice I will now know the value of y, so I'm going to plug it in. So that's going to be x equals 4 times a negative 1 plus 9, so that would be x equals negative 4 plus 9, which equals 5. So we found the x value and the y value. Make sure you're writing it as an ordered pair for your solution. So x is 5, your y is negative 1. So those are your steps for um, solving a 2 by 2 system using substitution. All right, let's do, now if you wanted to check this, sorry, let's go back. If you wanted to check it, we could plug in five for x, negative one for y in our original equations at the top, and it should be true for both equations. It's the point that they have in common. Okay, so let's do example two. So we're gonna solve the system using substitution. So I first wanna solve for a single variable. So notice that is this one here because it doesn't have a number in front of it, that's single. That way we don't have to deal with any fractions. So that's gonna be my first step. So I'm gonna isolate the y here. I can't combine these, so just rewrite it, negative 5x plus 13. 
And then now to get rid of the negative, because we want positive y, I'm going to divide everything by a negative 1. So that changes the sign of both of them. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to substitute this in using my other equation that I did not use on step one. So I'm going to write that equation down. And now I know the, what y equals. So I'm going to replace y with 5x minus 13. So I have 2x minus 4. And then instead of your y, we're replacing it with what y equals, 5x minus 13 and then bringing down that equals 16. So then I will need to distribute. So that's 2x minus 20x plus 52 equals 16. And then notice we have x's on the same side, so we're combining them. That's negative 18x plus 52 equals 16. And then subtract 52. So that's negative 18x equals negative 36. So when you divide both sides by negative 18, you get x equals 2. Okay, so once we find the x value, then we can plug it back into that equation we found on step 1. So I'm going to plug that in. So y equals 5. Instead of x, I'm putting the value of x, which is 2. And then minus 13. So that's 10 minus 13 which gives us a negative 3. So that's y equals. So make sure you write it as an ordered pair. So x is 2, your y is negative 3. So to check it, remember, you can plug in a 2 for x, a, three for, a negative 3 for y into both of those, and it should be true for both. So that's a great way of checking your um, solution. Okay, let's take a look at the back. All right, now we're going to um, be looking at a different method for solving a two by two system. It says blank is a method for solving systems that involve adding the multiple of one equation to the multiple of another equation with the goal of eliminating a variable. This is called elimination. Okay, so um, your steps, it tells you your steps here. You're going to multiply one or both of the equations by a constant to obtain the coefficients that differ only from the sign. So you're trying to get like a positive 2, a negative 2, so that way when you add them, they cancel out. You eliminate. So that's what it means to eliminate is get rid of one of the variables. Then you can simplify it, and then you can um, solve for the variable. So first step, notice it has boxes there for us. So first step is to multiply one or both of the equations by a constant. So I notice <clears throat> that this top one has just an x, and then the bottom one has a 3x. So I'm going to multiply the top one by negative 3, because I would want one to be negative, one to be positive. So make sure you distribute that to everything. That's negative 3x plus 6y equals negative 3. And then I'm going to rewrite that other equation directly underneath it. Okay, so now we're going to add these two equations together. So notice that these cancel out, which is what we wanted. That's why we wanted to multiply by negative 3. When we combine these two y's, that gives me a 7y. And then negative 3 plus 31 is 28. So once we add them, then we are simplifying and solving for a variable. So we're just dividing by 7, so we get y equals 4. And then we're going to substitute that into one of our um, equations on the original. It doesn't matter which one you use. I'll just use the top one. And then I'm plugging in for y. So that's x minus 2 times 4 equals 1. So that would be x minus 8 equals 1. So when I add 8 to both sides, I get x equals 9. So writing your solution as an order pair, x comes first, so 9. Your y value comes second, so 4. So again, to solve these or to check these, you can easily plug them back in and make sure that it's true on both equations.
So this is called elimination. You're trying to eliminate either the X or the Y so you can solve for the other. So you're having to adjust an equation by multiplying it by something. So let's look at example four. So we're wanting to eliminate one of the variables. It does not matter which one. So I'm gonna multiply the second one by a negative two so that way my X's will cancel. So I'm going to distribute that. <clears throat> so that's gonna be negative two X. Make sure you distribute to everything minus 12 Y and then equals negative 28. So now I'm just gonna rewrite this top equation right below it. And I'm gonna combine it. So those X's cancel. That gives me negative nine Y equals negative 27. So when we divide by negative nine, we get Y equals three. Okay, so once you solve for a variable, you're choosing one of the original equations to plug into. It doesn't matter which one. This one looks easier, but it doesn't matter. And I now know the value of Y, so I'm gonna substitute that in. So that's X plus 18 equals 14. And then I need to subtract 18 on both sides. So you should get X equals negative four. So again, once you have solved your system, make sure you're writing it as an ordered pair. X is first, negative four, Y is second, so three. Again, to check it, you can easily plug that back in. So this is solving a two by two um, system of equations. This should be a review from Algebra 1. If you have any questions, please let me know.